Hey guys, it's me, Dark Apps. Today we're going to be back with another app, and let's get into this. Okay, so, um, sorry guys, I just have been a bunch of tests in school and some crazy, so I haven't uploaded for about a week. I promised two videos a week, so sorry about that, but we haven't done an app in a little while, so I wanted to do that. So go ahead, let's open Xcode, either it's in your menu bar or Spotlight Search, or through Launchpad Xcode. Okay, okay, let's do this. So basically, this app, every time you press a button, it's going to show an error message, like, uh, I don't mean, like a pop-up box with the, the saying whatever the user wants. So we're gonna start with the if the so basically I think I confused that part up but so when the user press is a button it's gonna display a UI alert and yeah so we're gonna call this alert uh, I'm probably gonna save it to my document somewhere so I'm gonna create a new folder just for the heck of this demonstration and I'll call it okay without apps apps okay that works so um as you know this app will be uh, soon on the downloads page uh, so update on uh, vid.apps.co still a work in progress but to download just uh, go just um, go to my website and there will be a download section I don't take this up right now but I just have to publish it so I am gonna grow this bigger okay so uh, we're just gonna jump over to main.storyboard and add a button Oh, and before we do that, we're going to resize this view controller for an iPhone 6s Plus. So we're going to click the square circle, square and circle thing. Go to the attributes inspector. Go to size iPhone 5.5. Button. Uh, show. Uh, I mean, uh, this alert can be used in many other places other than uh, this. Like, for example, if a text field is nil or empty, you can use the alert for that. But this is just going to demonstrate. And now we just need to connect it. So action. Uh, show. No, I have to. Okay. So now. We got that. So we're gonna do let title equal um and let's just set it to uh, okay. Let message equal to so uh, you don't have to do this method in title I'll show you why but this does make it easier if you're going to use title and message in multiple multiple times this is a demo for the video and finally let Okay, button equal to so this is what is going to show at the bottom either like okay so we're going to set okay in caps so okay so we're done with that so uh, why you want to keep this like this so if you're going to use this in multiple times let's say I have another button right here somewhere. So I don't want to type in ti uh, the demo error message again, so I just can put in title. Imagine if this was a line of code, which it isn't. So I just put in title instead of typing. Dem 
open, so you get the idea. So now we are going to create the alert. Alert. UI alert controller style. We got the Oh no, just UI alert controller. Sorry. We got the title. Okay, so title we can just say as title. I mean we can also change the string message which is this to blah 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 this is a demo for the video but as I mentioned this will make it easier so okay button preferred style is UI alert controller action UI alert controller style dot alert controls brackets now we're missing something so, we didn't have the OK button yet, right? Yeah, so let's do that. Now we're going to set this as let OK text. Equal to UI alert. You high alert action. So, uh, title, 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 we're gonna say okay button. No, okay text. No, button. <laughs> I, I got confused there, but so okay button is equal to okay. So, style. The style is UI alert action style dot cancel. Dot cancel. Handler is nil. So now, so alert, alert dot add action to add the action OK button no way okay no wait never mind see what's your message here oh okay let's see so you figure out what's wrong with that and so will I So let's see what happens. Let's display an error message, but we'll see what happens. So present new controller, uh, um, wrong one. I didn't see what I was typing. Let's see present new controller. So, okay, never mind, that was the light one. So, alert. Animated, true. And completion, nil. Nil. So can I convert value string to expected argument? Oops. To argument type UI alert action. Okay. So here I am going to pause the video real quick. And then you figure it out in the meantime. Be back. Okay, my mistake. It is supposed to be okay text because it's okay text. Mm -hmm. That confused me a little, but uh, so sorry about that. So now if we run it, 
ignore that. Oop, let's see where did the simulator go? It's loading. See? So demo error message. Okay. Oh, we set the message to okay button. So just a quick fix. So message is message, not okay button. That was an accident there, but now if we see what happens, this is a demo for the video. So congratulations, you made your app. So yeah, you can add multiple buttons. And so you can use this in many ways, like um, if a text field is blank, you can show this if uh, the user submits something that is blank. But yeah, so um, thank you guys for watching. I will catch you guys in the next video. So yeah, see you then guys and remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching.